Montreal. Here I am in, uh, in Bucharest office. Uh, I have uh, finally met Marius after years of working remote and, and talking uh, online. Finally, we had the chance to, to, to meet. Marius is a tech, tech lead engineer in the model-based design team, uh, one, one of the teams uh, in NXP Romania, which is working on developing tools for programming automotive processors. And Marius works in particular in uh, model-based design. And we wanted to make this video because Marius will be next week in Tech Days Detroit uh, at an XP event there and he will present a demo on battery management system. But hey, Marius, why, why don't you tell us what, what will you present there? Eh? Hi, Daniel. First of all, uh, really nice to, to see you after uh, all this <laughs> year working from home and developing all, all the stuff from home. Yeah, so next week uh, I'm going to present in Detroit at um, uh, Tech Days uh, and there we are going to talk about uh, state of charge estimation, uh, leveraging AI and model based design toolbox. All right. So NXP has a solution for uh, controlling battery charge, battery state of charge. It is a pretty complex problem. As you know, we need to... Why, why, why is it such a complex problem? I, you explained me very nice. Go ahead. Uh, t tell, tell the guys. <laughs> yeah, so uh, one, of the, um, one of the important tasks of the battery management system is the estimated uh, estimation sorry, of the state of charge. Um, which is hard to, to, to do because we have all these different batteries, different kind of batteries and uh, the, um, uh, working, um, of, uh, the working condition varies with temperatures, with different input factors. So it's, it's pretty complex to, to estimate such, uh, such value. And, um, and the problem is you can't measure it directly, right? Exactly. It's, it's not you like you measure, measure a current or a voltage and you know the state, you kind of need to estimate and calculate it, right? Exactly. It's, it's just like um, having a look on your mobile phone and see, okay, I have 75% left, but that 75% unfortunately is not directly measured. So we need to, to estimate that. So it, yeah, it depends on multiple factors, like the battery chemistry, right? Yes, the battery the chemistry, voltage, the, inputs, the, okay. the voltage, temperature, and, uh, and current. On current. And if the estimation is not done correctly, the, the, the cell might, might deteriorate, for example, right? If, if you let it discharge too much, the, the, the cell can deteriorate. Mm -hmm. Or if we are too conservative on the estimation, we simply lose uh, power that power, can be used right? to we, we, go we keep, home, yeah, you, you keep too much of a buffer and basically mm -hmm. instead of going, I don't know, 300 kilometers, you, you go just 150, right? So this uh, estimation of state of charge is really, really critical. Mm -hmm. Now, we can do, this is, this is the setup, uh, I think you will show with the K3 processor, right? Yes, from, from we will also show the, the high voltage battery management system, uh, the reference design in XP provides, uh, uh, which consists of a K3 and some battery cell controllers. You okay. cannot just connect the processor directly to, to, to cells. So for that, uh, the, the, the system is, is complex. You need to have a cell monitoring unit. You need to have a battery junction box. So, so basically here powers. you have the cell monitoring unit, the K3 board. There is a communication between yes. them. And you have here uh, a couple of potentiometers which emulate the cells, mm -hmm. right? And if I, if, I, if I touch in any of these, I, I can see on the screen how this... Uh, how this is reflected? Yeah, so what we have here is uh, is our typical uh, development uh, development desk. Uh, well, you cannot work with batteries in inside the office, right? So for that, uh, NXP provides this um, um, cell emulators, yeah. yeah, which consists as you as you as you explained of potentiometers, and basically we are reading voltages directly from 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 the potentiometers, mm -hmm. and you can uh, we can we can drive the system easily in under voltage, low voltage, or um, okay high voltage and, and so on without uh, damage to, 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 to um, I don't know, damaging cells. Any and fire hazard, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's recap. We have model-based design toolbox. This is the product that we develop. It works on top of MATLAB and Simulink. You might wonder why we need MATLAB and Simulink. As Mario said, we might, uh, we might have to emulate maybe even the chemistry of the battery mm -hmm. in, in Simulink. Uh, somebody told me, I did, we didn't do it, but somebody told me that they work and simulating the chemistry of the battery so they can do this uh, even the physical property mm -hmm. simulation in, in Simulink. We are using state flow. This is a toolbox from Simulink which we are using to define this algorithm, right? Because mm -hmm. it's a state machine and, and state flow toolbox is suitable for that. And of course, we use from Simulink, apart from MATLAB and Simulink themselves, uh, C-embedded coder because all the code that we work with our toolbox 
eventually gets generated specific for our processor directly from Simulink. You can load the code and, mm -hmm. and do all the development uh, from Simulink. The advantage of working this way is there are more advantages, but primarily I think you can do the simulation, mm -hmm. you can fine tune your algorithm, and then you can deploy it on the target. And at each step, you can you can check where, where the problem or or debug and see how how things work. And we have Freemaster here, our beautiful uh, HTML JavaScript based tool, which allows us to to connect and display the state of battery. So mm -hmm. this is a, a tool we are very proud. It's developed in house in, in NXP. It's called Freemaster, and one component of the tool Freemaster Lite allows the the communication between the target and and um, a host, in this case a mm -hmm. computer, and, and we can see in a nice display the, how, how these uh, cells are, are reacting to, to changes. Marius will talk about all these things together with Matorx. There is a uh, Javier, right, an engineer from, from Matorx, which, which will join Marius uh, on the stage. And yeah, if people have questions, you can, you can meet uh, Marius at Tech, Tech Days Detroit. Well, when is the session? What, what it's day? in the second day on 19th of October, starting at 3.30 p.m. Okay. So, see you there. It's 3.30 p.m. local time. If you happen to be in Detroit, go and, go and meet Marius and Javier and uh, ask them questions like, if you can't wait until then and you really want to see these things uh, or you can't make it to Detroit, don't worry. We have our community. I'll put the link. I'll, 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 I'll insert the link with, um, with it. We have our community, we have a lot of webinars. Marius has done already several webinars. The links are there in the, in the community. You can always go and check uh, how, how, how this problem is treated. We have discussed about it extensively uh, together with Matworks. So go ahead and, and check our, uh, our community and learn more about our products and NXP and how we work. And of course, behind the community, it's us, right? So Marius Marx is one of the major contributors in the community. So if you have questions or anything, just drop a note and we'll, we'll, we'll try to, to engage with you and reply. All right, Marius, good luck there. You will have fun. Thank you very much, Daniel. <laughs> and uh, we'll, if there will be a recording, we'll put the recording uh, in the link to the video. All right. Good luck, man. <laughs> Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.